Hello friends welcome to my channel. Today's topic is footstep power generation. In this video we will going to see that how to generate electricity by footstep. So without wasting time let's get started. In footstep power generation whenever you applied mechanical pressure on the board then the mechanical energy can vent into the electrical energy. Ok hunk but what are the components required for it? It required total 5 components. First piezoelectric cell, second resistors, third Arduino, fourth LCD, fifth is variable resistor and connecting wires. Can you please explain working of all components? Yes, sure let's start with piezoelectric cell. It is made with the quartz crystal. Whenever we apply mechanical pressure then it will convert in the electrical energy. And when you apply electrical energy as input then your output is mechanical energy. According to the energy conservation principle we cannot produce energy nor destroy it but we can be transferred in one form into another form. But when we transfer the energy then some losses are there. Yes, you are right but you told that there are some losses, then explain what types of losses are there. Whenever you applied mechanical pressure to the board then you don't get the 100% efficiency. There are some losses are there. The heart of the system is piezoelectric cell. You can connect it in series parallel connection according to your application. LCD is used to show that how many voltages are generated by the piezoelectric board. There is no other use of LCD in this type of power generation. Variable resistor is used to change the intensity of TCD. And resizers are used for voltage divider in the input. Arduino is used for programming poor PUs. So your output of the board is going to the Arduino and the sim process is done in the Arduino and your voltage is display on your LCD. How can we store the DC output of the board in the battery? And if yes then how we can use it? Yes, Nermit we can store the voltage in the battery. The output of the board is connected into the battery and Arduino so you can measure the voltage and you can store the voltage in the battery. If you are connected AC load then you have to connect the inverter circuit with the battery so you can use in your house. Hung can you tell me what is inverter circuit and what is rectifier circuit? Inverter circuit is used to convert the DC supply and the AC supply. Rectifier circuit is used for to convert the AC supply into the DC supply. Now any question Nermit? No questions Hunk. you give me all that I want. Thank you so much Hunk. If you have any questions then you can drop it in the comment box or you can send a message on Instagram and you can also send me a mail. Friends, if you are new on my channel then please subscribe for more video and don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications. If you like that video then please share it with your friends.